Okay, so a quick tip on how to update uh, or create links in a blog. Very simple, first step, highlight the words that you're going to link to. Okay, I'll create the link from. Now the important thing with linking is it's not really about choosing useless words like you can see all and then trying to create a link out of that. Worldwide designers, not really because Google doesn't really know how to rank this worldwide designers. Uh, current trends and events, another thing that's pretty much useless because it's too vague. What you're better off linking is things like words like paper mache, okay, or global kids magazine, a little bit better. You know, and then what you want to do is go click. So the simple thing here, when you're creating a link, you always leave the HTTP bit. What you then do is you either manually type in the entire website that you're linking to. Say for example like that, then you create what I call a title. What happens is when you add a link, it's created, we can just do a quick preview and just incidentally when you do create links you need to make sure you're in the visual editor not the text editor okay so go into the visual editor first make sure that's selected and just a quick little tip here when you can't see the bottom row of the um, tools you just click on that button there to toggle the toolbar and you can see all the other tools but anyway Global Kids Magazine, we've now created that, just to do a quick little view, you can see what's happened. And Global, Global Mag Australia, you can see what the title does. The Global Mag Australia is actually from the title. So I'll go back a step again, exit full screen. We can highlight, edit link, and you can see the words Global Mag Australia. It becomes that little tooltip, that yellow tooltip we saw earlier. Now, sometimes you get really complicated URLs, which is fine. What you might do is you might go to, let's say, pretend it's Global Magazine, World News, la da la, this is the one. Okay, and let's just pretend that one of the articles is this one okay what we can do is just highlight the whole thing if we really want to go back to here highlight edit and we just drop it in as long as it's got the right URL and you can see where the URL comes from it's up in here that's the bit we highlight no matter how long this gets we just highlight the lot Okay, now if you accidentally make a URL out of nothing or you want to get rid of it, you can easily do it just like that. So remember, generally speaking, URLs and you know links and things like that work better when you pick um, you know meaningful words and you should generally, you know this is better if you're going to link to this magazine, let's say. Okay, so that's how you create the links. A couple of other little housekeeping issues. Just make sure you check your categories. So there it's done here. Another thing is remember to choose if you're going to use this image, upload it to your media like we showed in the last video, media library. And then you can choose gallery, scroll down and choose slideshow. And then you'll save the draft if you're just going to save it. That way you can use the attach method later on when you add the add the um, add this photo, let's say. Also, of course, it doesn't have to be this photo, it could be another photo. But as long as you've got something 
And sometimes you can use generic photos again and again. So it uh, doesn't have to be this photo or even that one or even this one. You can actually pick another photo that you've uploaded and then use that photo in the library to attach now because it's now a gallery uh, format. So that's cool. Tags we can choose as well. The other thing I would suggest, keep up to date with fashion. Possibly improve that as a uh, title for the not only the post, but also to go in and uh, change this to be more meaningful to Google because Google really uses that. So you might go paper, mache, you know, kids fashion, you know, something a bit more useful that ultimately Google will rank better because at the moment, this is too generic. So you can save the draft. One last thing to show as well. Let's just pretend Fashion Easter was actually a previous article in your blog and you want to link to it. You can actually highlight the word, click the link, and then find the article. Okay, you can change the title if you need to, but leave that HTTP bit because it's now linking to Billy Kidd's article. And you can add the link. That will now link to the Billy Kids article, which is cool. To get rid of that, just highlight it, unlink, and it's gone. Simple as that. When you're ready to publish, just publish. So that's how you create links. It's pretty straightforward. And also, of course, just keep an eye on this sort of stuff as well, like just making sure that this is actually useful to Google. It's got to start having keywords that are more likely to be searched and lead the right viewers to your blog.